Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Redmi Note 11 Pro versus the Samsung Galaxy A52 and the A52 is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G processor with 8GB of RAM while the Redmi Note 11 Pro is powered by MediaTek Helio G96 processor with 8GB of RAM as well and both phones has a quad cameras on the back. We have 64 megapixel main camera with optical image separation. Also, we have 12 megapixel ultra wide. We also have a 5 megapixel macro and a 5 megapixel depth sensor on the A52. While on the Redmi Note 11 Pro, we have 108 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide. We also have a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. And the back on the Redmi Note 11 Pro is made up of glass. While on the Samsung, we have plastic back and the frame on both phones is made up of plastic on the samsung we have in display fingerprint scanner while on the redmi we have fingerprint scanner on the side on the bottom we also have a headphone jack on the samsung while on the redmi note 11 pro and the headphone jack it is on the top and you can see and both phones also has a dual speakers and samsung also has a ip67 water and dust resistance while on the redmi note 11 pro we have ip53 rating so in this video i'm going to show you how is the redmi note 11 pro is stack up against the samsung galaxy a52 so without any wasting time let's get right into it and guys now let's start off with the boot up test here we go logos came up first on the samsung as compared to the redmi note 11 pro also we have android 11 with me ui version 13 while on the samsung we we have android 12 with samsung one ui 4 a52 is give you android 11 right out the box as of now, we are getting Android 12 update on the A52. Redmi Note 11 Pro is more faster when it comes to booting up, while the Samsung is taking a lot of time. Now the Samsung, it is also done about four or five second difference there between these two devices when it comes to booting up. And guys, now let's talk about the displays between these two devices. On the Redmi Note 11 Pro, we have 6.67 inch Full HD Plus. It's a Super AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate. While on the Samsung, we have 6.5 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display with 90Hz refresh rate. And both phones also has a punch hole on the center, which looks exactly the same on both phones. Also, you can see the sides of the Redmi Note 11 Pro is more flat as compared to the Samsung, which gives a boxier look. Everything is closed up in the background, no application is running in the background also we have same wi-fi network on both phones now let's opening up phone dialer faster on the samsung so next on the list is the settings and that is very similar on both phones now let's go to the display and you can see we have 90 hertz refresh rate versus a 120 on the redmi note 11 pro so now let's check out some more application now let's start off with the amazon shopping with same wi-fi network and the Samsung is a little more faster as compared to the Redmi. So now let's see the scrolling. Really, really smooth on both phones. If I very closely, yes, scrolling, it feels more smoother on the Redmi because of the high refresh rate display. So now let's open this. Faster on the Redmi this time. Now let's see some games application. Now let's see that how is the Snapdragon 720G is stack up against the MediaTek Helio G96. Now let's opening up the Candy Crush Sega. Exactly the same on both phones. Both phones also have the dual speakers. So here is the Samsung looks like with max volume. And here is the Redmi Note 11 Pro. And the Redmi Note 11 Pro has a better speakers as compared to the Samsung. Also on the haptics, it is also more good on the Redmi Note 11 Pro. Now let's open Instagram faster on the Samsung. Now let's opening up pinout. Pinout is very similar on both phones and you can see. Now let's open Snapchat faster on the Samsung. Now let's open Spotify. Spotify is very similar, little more faster on the Samsung. Now let's opening up Subway Surfer. Again, we have Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G versus a MediaTek Helio G96. Samsung is little more faster there. About half a second difference there. Now let's opening up the Temper N2. Temper N2 is should be very similar on both phones, but the Redmi Note 11 Pro little more faster there. Redmi is done. Now the Samsung it is also done. About one or two second difference there. Now let's opening up the PUBG Mobile, and the PUBG is 
seems like open up more faster on the Samsung. Let's see at the end. Redmi Note 11 Pro, let it move faster there. Samsung is more faster there and you can see and the performance is very close between these two devices. Obviously, the Samsung has a Snapdragon 720G which is based on 8nm while the Mediatek Helio G96 is based on 12nm. More efficient chipset on the Samsung. Now let's opening up the tutor faster on the Samsung. Now let's opening up the Edge. Faster on the Samsung. Now let's see the scrolling. Again, very similar on both phones. No issue whatsoever. And last time I launching the cameras on both phones. Default camera application. Now let's see who is going to be the fastest one. Samsung is more faster as compared to the Redmi. Again, we have optical image stabilization on the Samsung with IP67 water and dust resistance. Now let's look at the front camera. Here's a front camera on both phones and the front camera is more better on the Samsung as a more detail. Okay guys, now let's see internet blown speed. I am seeing the fall Samsung internet browser on the Samsung while on the Redmi we have Google Chrome. Now let's opening up wikipedia.org. Wikipedia is faster on the Samsung as compared to the Redmi. Now let's see the scrolling that is very smooth on both phones. If I see very closely, yes, that is is more smoother on the Redmi Note 11 Pro because of the higher refresh rate display. Now let's open this English. Faster on the Samsung's internet browsing speed is faster on the Samsung. Again, in the scrolling wise, no issue whatsoever, but we have extra smoothness on the Redmi. Next on the list is the Apple.com. Again, faster on the Samsung, as you can see. Again, very smooth on both phones. Again, not a big difference between 90 Hz and 120 Hz. So now let's check out RAM management on both phones. And both phones has a 8 GB of RAM and both phones also has an extended RAM feature. Now let's see that who is performed good in the RAM management. Opening up phone dialer, no refresh. Now let's open settings. Amazon shopping. Refresh on the Redmi. Now let's open up Candy Crush Sega, no refresh. Now let's open Instagram, no refresh. Now let's open up Pinout. Now let's open Snapchat. Now let's open Spotify. Now let's open up Subisuffer. Now let's open up Temper and 2, no refresh. And you can see in the PUBG Mobile, no refresh on both phones. RAM management, it is really, really good. Now let's open up Twitter, no refresh. Zedge, same result. And last way back to the internet browser where we left and you can see and cast over up to say regarding the app's opening speed as you can see that and the redmi note 11 pro as well as the samsung galaxy a32 and both phones is performing very similar in the game map during time as far as the system based application are concerned it is more faster on the samsung in terms of the ram image wise and both phones is performing really good in the ram image man not a single refresh on both phones on the redmi we have 5000 mh battery size with a 67 watt fast charging while on the samsung we have 4500 mh battery size with a 25 watt fast charging support in the box we are getting a 15 watt fast charger so that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the redmi note 11 pro versus the samsung galaxy a52 let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on instagram and twitter as well and i will see you in my next video Peace out.